Hello everyone and welcome back to Crass Storyo 2. This is Otaku Showboat with Ollie. With Ollie on the back of the chair. Uh, if you have been enjoying this series thus far, please be sure to do all of the engagement and social stuff below the video. You can, of course, also follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash otaku showboat, as well as support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash otaku showboat, if you are so inclined and able. So, last time we met, I got through the production of additional copper, as well as set up stone, stone bricks, and glass with sand and yeah i will need additional sand that's what we sort of were ending things off with was uh potentially doing an additional belt of just sand that is separate from this now this is producing uh not quite 15 per second on the sand. It is producing at 12 and a half, and I have set up how many stone furnaces? 14. Theoretically, this is using the entire output, but there's a backup here. Uh, this may be just because I've been getting lucky on a range value uh, on the output here, or Helmod just doesn't quite give an accurate value as to how much stuff you get out, how much sand you get out of uh, stone, and it could be either one of those two things. Usually Helmod is pretty accurate, but I think I've just been getting lucky on the high end of the outputs on the sand, and it's been giving me a little bit more than anticipated. Uh, because otherwise I should be able to, with 14 of these, process up to 14 per second of the sand. It's just, it's not, it's not fast enough for the amount of sand that I have. Which is fine, because I am, of course, going to be adding an actual line for said sand as well. Uh, and just for good measure, we're going to have all of these chests here. I need a lot of belt. I also need wood. Like an actual dedicated wood section, but we'll think about that once I get uh, some automation set up for the, uh, the greenhouses. They will take wood themselves to make, though. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Neat little challenge there, but we shall prevail over time. And uh, as for, there, there was a comment being like, "Oh, hey, you have a, you have a lot of pipe." Yes, I do have a lot of pipe. I have not limited my chests on the production of pipe. That was, that was one thing that came up. No, I have not limited my pipe chests at all. I just have enough iron, and it's. They're limited, but they're not limited by the chest. They're limited by the swing speed on the inserters. That's what they're limited by. That That's what's slowing them down enough to not use all of the iron. It's just the, the swing speed of the inserters. Anyway, I am up here to grab all my belt. All of that belt. Regular standard old belt. For that, uh, I will be needing a bit more pipe to ground, though, at some point rather soon, I would imagine. But for now, we are continuing to build the main bus. That is the that is the goal. We are building the main bus. I think at this point, I'm thinking about the moving of science over to the actual main bus. I think I will just reverse this belt now. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to reverse this belt now. Uh, speaking of science, that is slowly moving. Just because this takes, uh, I don't know, 300 science packs. 
you know, just casually 300 science packs for that. Uh, so I need five items for my bus. I also need to, like, get power to the bus and all that good stuff, too. And, uh, like, sentinels along the bus. That would be uh, pretty nice to have. Now, since I've already brought this copper down, it gives me a good opportunity to get an alignment, actually. I want to draw this line. I hope. I hope I'm correct that I want to draw this line. If I'm off a tile, I'll fix it. I shall fix it. Ollie left me. Oh no, he left at some point. He jumped down. The, the weight on the back of the, the chair went down. I'm like, huh, weird. So yeah, this is, this is what I shall uh, do here. Just run right down, run on the tile right down for my primary power supply. I still need to take care of all this uh, forest in my way, but hey. And you know what? Since I have to take care of that forest anyway, if I want to continue moving my main bus down, I'm just going to end there. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to end there. Now, five more items on the main bus. Don't know what I'm going to do with these. Uh, these are going to be some sort of iron derivatives, I would imagine. Maybe uh, steel on there. Uh, I'm thinking that the stone, stone brick, glass, and sand are all going to exist there. Uh, wood. That's a good question. Let's have a look and see what derivatives of copper I would there are. It looks like it's just copper plates. This doesn't add in at this point anyway. Uh, additional intermediates of copper. It does add steel intermediates, which is a potential pain point uh, for that. There is... That requires coke. And that is wood plus coal. Interesting. So, you're saying I will need to have an iron and coal source with on-site wood production to make coke, and then I can make steel at a 2 to 1 ratio of plate iron into steel. That's a little expensive, uh, to be completely honest, to make the uh, steel, but we'll manage over time uh, on that. I'm just obviously planning way, way, way ahead here for all of that, uh, and of course the oil stuff is going to take all of that great, beautiful things, those great, beautiful things. I have another five inventory slots, and now military is going. Huzzah! Yeah, so I think I can put wood with the uh, copper likely on the end. I don't know what that third line, though, is going to be. Maybe some other intermediate that I might need. Maybe uh, automation cores? I don't really see the need for that. Or maybe it'll just be a science belt? Yeah, I'm thinking it'll probably be a science belt. So that's going to be wood. That's going to be the other thingy, the doohickeys. Stone-based products. Hey, we got military, and we'll soon be able to make our sentinels. Actually, make the sentinels. There's one sentinel down. Yay, there's, there's one. One little doohickey. I want, uh... Yeah, radars. Radars would be nice. Alright, all of this belt line needs to get placed. I am just a little bit desiring nanobots at this point. The, the thing about the nanobots, though, is that even if I had nanobots installed, uh, they take green circuits. They would, they would take circuits. 
pretty sure. Yeah, like guaranteed, they they take circuits to make that ammo. And I can absolutely make the circuits at this point. It's just I'm not ready to automate said circuits yet. But anyway, let's continue on. A lot of this has been very much feeling vanilla for the exception of I need a few more things. There are a few more things to consider, like the glass and sand. Those are definitely, definitely new items to have to think about. But overall, I feel like I'm progressing with each uh, individual episode. I feel like there's progress being made, which would absolutely not be the case uh, if I was playing something a little bit more complex, like... Uh, the Pie Suite, for example. We could be working on the same build on the Pie Suite over the course of many, many episodes before we finally have some degree of progression just because of how much stuff one needs to build for that. Uh, I'm going to bring this all the way over here because this is the wood line. Uh, and I'm just going to note that I will need to jump uh, with my underground belts. Have a little bit of underground action. Off we go. I'm just going to combine them here so that I know where to put this underground belt. It needs to go here. And then I can connect. Because now it's just all four belt lines straight up. There we go. Painting with belt. This is a lot of logistics work, but it will help dramatically as we as we go along. All right, those are now connected onto my main bus, and the main bus has power. I'm going to put some additional sentinels down so I can see all the things about the place, strewn about the place, cannot reach, oh noes. There you go. Enjoy that power. And I can see most of the everything, most of the everything at this point. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, a few additional resources. I'm going to shift C to get some of the stuff into the uh, shelter and out of my inventory to free up a bit of space. Just a bit of space. Note how I used like all of my available belt. Yeah, just stick some of that in. I want to focus more on having the pipe to ground rather than having uh, individual regular pipe. Looks like the tech is blowing uh, in my labs. That's good to see. Speaking of which, do the labs like tape glass? No. Interesting. Because one would think labs would need glass, right? Well, at the very least, the basic labs uh, do not require glass. We'll, we'll see about upgraded versions as we go along. Okay, next steps. What are the next steps that I need to think about here? Um, I don't think I want to rebuild this, but I may have to. I think I may have to rebuild this, just no matter what. Otherwise, I have to keep walking back all the way over here. I'm at the very least going to be getting this 
this stuff with the, with the automation cores uh, for the science that is going to exist on the bus. Uh, should that be first? I suppose we can make that uh, first on my main bus. Yay, we'll start with science. We shall begin with the science directly. And then we can actually begin work towards the next science. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Working directly towards the next science, which is going to need green circuits. Absolutely. The green circuits don't need steel, though. So really, even though I have access to steel, I won't need steel. Not even to make red belts. I don't, I don't I don't need them for the red belts. What will I need to spend my steel on besides buildings? That's a good question. Steel. Yes, yes. Text plates, all that. Steel plates. You are used to make steel chests, obviously. You are used for blue inserters. That's a big one, but that still counts, I would say, as a building. Because that's not going to get used for anything else besides my logistics. So it's used in buildings and logistics. It's used for steel pipes, which are, again, buildings and logistics. It's used in this various stuff. This is all still just logistics stuff. Is it used in a science? I don't see it directly getting used in a science. It's used for the rocket silo. But again, buildings, buildings, buildings. A, a bit of ammo stuff later on, but not for now. That's what I'm seeing with this. And then what about the beams and gear wheels? These are blue belts and better. Okay, again, infrastructure, not science. The oil pump jacks, yeah, and oil refineries, yeah. If they're not going to, if steel isn't going to be a requirement to get into science, that is a big, 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 big point. It's used in a lot of buildings. It's used in a lot of buildings, but if I don't have to worry about it now, besides for buildings, that would be fantastic. That would be fantastic. It means I don't have to worry about the uh, total throughput of steel uh, in the end, but I guess the, the main thing I can look at is just science. Right? If I, if I look at... This would be better in Hellmod. If I look at sciences... Like, uh... What about the production science? What does the production science look like? Uh... Uranium-238! Wow, okay. Sure, red belts don't use steel. Blank tech cards don't use steel. Productivity modules don't... Use steel. They use silicon, which is quartz, which is sand. Yeah. And they use plastic, which again, that's coal and petroleum gas. So yeah, no no steel. No no steel whatsoever, if I wanted... For reference, if I wanted one of you... It's funny, because it's not using red circuits. Not for... This at all doesn't doesn't use red circuits. Uses green circuits only for production science. Huh. I'm sure there's going to be steel used for buildings for sciences, but if that's the case, that would be just unreal. And then I, yeah. It, Wow, I'm just, I'm flabbergasted. It doesn't seem to be used. 
for anything besides buildings, for any science. Well, I'll take it. It means I don't have to worry about it until I need those buildings. Which I am not going to need those buildings until after green science. So why why even have steel uh, available to you at red if it's not really particularly useful? Yes, it would be useful to make blue, blue uh, inserters, the fast inserters. Like That's the one and only thing that would make me want to have steel soon, sooner rather than later. The one and only thing. Uh, we're going to build this at a little bit higher of scale. Uh, I would, I would hope, hope and dream that this would be a bit greater scale. Uh, so this is going to be making the basic tech cards, which, yeah, one of these makes two per second, so that would be uh, 16 of these assembling machines, just, you know, casually, 16. Uh, is that how I want to actually have this set up? I guess it's okay. Part of me wanted to have, like, another gap of two. Wanted to have, like, another gap of two before the actual build zone. But, eh. We'll, we'll live with this. Oh, right. The thingy. Sentinel, hi. You're in the way. You, you are quite in the way. Or not, depending on how I actually do this. See, that's probably not how I want that to be. I would want it that way. Uh, for future scaling. I Ideally. Uh, that's gonna be like that. Uh, and then I am okay completely with oops with building like that you can build all internally and keep the central parts completely free but eh we'll we'll, we'll stick with this uh, the downside is I'm building on on this other side which uh oh that'll be interesting uh, I'll probably just jump down here and, like, go about my... Go about my business. We'll actually have a, uh, thing for these. You never know, I might want to use them for something or other. Basic tech cards. Are they used in anything outside of tech? No. So, that's actually not a great idea. Hmm. It all depends on where I have my science labs, doesn't it? And I just have to remember that this is not going to be the overall build for this. It shall not be the overall build. We now have the ability to do the green science, which is fantastic. The logistic tech cards. Huzzah. This is going to make two per second. So I'm not worried about lane balancing or anything of the sort. It's going to come on down. Just like so. Everything gets power. I said everything gets power. And that is two per second of those. That's going to be like that, I guess. Something along those lines. I'll have science labs, I, I guess, in here. For, for all intents and purposes, or 
in the alternative, I can continue with the red science. The red science. Automation tech cards. These need automation cores and blank tech cards. These also use blank tech cards. So we get into this interesting dilemma with the blank tech cards. Blank tech cards are technically not as dense as the individual components. It needs two iron and one copper per five blank tech cards, which means it is going to always be more beneficial to do this on site and bring the iron and copper to this location. Uh, in regards to how we build a bus, so we, I don't want to bus blank tech cards because iron and copper are more dense of a resource for the throughput of my belts. But the other thing you have to consider is I have how much space? I have the ability to make how many belts? I can totally, totally afford to have less dense stuff on belts. Like, I have built a bus built big enough to handle lower density stuff, right? So, it, it does not actually matter if something is less dense than another thing in terms of the resource stuff, stuffs and things. In fact, it might be more beneficial to you to know that you've lost that throughput by making the less dense stuff uh, that you've lost the throughput on the higher density stuff because it can be a little bit harder to keep track of your high density stuff and how much you're using uh, of, say, your iron ore in total along the entirety of your bus. It can be a little difficult to, to know this thing, this information, off the top of your head, including me. Uh, it's a little difficult for me to do that. So, this is going to be... Uh, Another two per second build, so it's going to be two per second of the blank tech cards, and one per less than way less than one per second of the automation cores. So uh, let's just have a look at the build on two per second. Point four automation cores, which is going to be one one building making the automation cores, and it's going to be needing two, so I need two buildings doing the blank tech cards, and that's going to need a copper cable, as well as an iron plate. So, the copper cable needs to exist, this needs a stick and a gear wheel. A stick and a gear wheel. I have finished my techs! Yay! What will I take next? I don't know. I just don't even know what would be useful for me right now. Uh, some reach would probably be nice. Yeah, being able to, to reach stuff would be really, really nice. And then I guess I can continue with the crafting speed stuffs and the, uh, movement speed would be good as well. So I need all of this. Did I just shoot a thing? I I don't know. Oh, I can I can fire willy nilly. This is this is different. This is this is different on how it how it behaves. Yeah, so in Crastario, I guess, e yeah, each bullet is an, its own entity as it as it flies and it hits a thing. I'm just going to uh, get rid of all my ammo. I don't I don't need this ammo. I don't I don't need it. I don't need to accidentally push C when I'm trying to control copy or control paste. Uh, I don't I don't want to accidentally do those things. So one per second, that's fine. That's fine. That is more copper. Uh, okay, so I'm getting an idea as to how to set this up. This is also going to be another 16, right? Yeah, another line of 16 of those. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. You take the copper, you take the copper. How... I guess linear is fine. Uh, I guess... I guess linear is fine. Yeah, we're going to have that on one side. 
that on tether. I'm gonna take the whole thing though and move it down like so. Uh, and then you can be there, you even further up. Uh, and that is, oops, like that. Okay, okay. I need a long-handed inserter. Yeah. Because I'm going to have the, uh, the other stops. I need this to do 1.5, though. I'm not certain about the speed on those. Oop. Hello. Thank you. There is wiki info. Uh, you're gonna just direct insert just because just I feel like it. This is going to be iron. Do I need to keep moving the iron? Yes, I do need to keep moving the iron. That's going to take in the iron. Oh, the irony. Uh, that's going to output on there. That's going to output on there. Yes, this time I will shift L to drop near. And have that one drop far. This is going to be a line of 16, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Did I miscount? Nope. Good. Very good. We are now a little bit over half an hour in. I am going to finish this build, and we will end off the episode here. So this will be a new thing. I have a notification from Amazon. Hello. Notification. I have delivery. I have, a, I have a wonderful, beautiful delivery of stuff. A thing. A singular thing. If you if you want to know what that singular thing is, uh, I'm going I'm going to tell you. It is. Uh, yes, I know. Please don't. Oh, I, I guess I have two items technically. I have razor blades and uh, earplugs. Razor blades and earplugs. So. So very, very, uh, common of items, but hey, I, I, I am a guy, I need to, I need to shave, I, I do, shaving is a thing that I need to do, on occasion, uh, and I cannot sleep without earplugs anymore, that, that's a thing that I got, I, was necessary, it was, it was necessary in my graduate program at in my apartment sleeping in the same area as you know many other people my apartment was a shared apartment with uh, a few more people a few more people uh, you know just uh, a few additional people uh, uh, you are going here there uh, the, the thing is, I need to then have the copper coming in there. Yeah, four people in my apartment and college-age folks, all mostly undergrad folks. Uh, so yeah, I, I needed earplugs, especially since my, my room was literally on the opposite side of where the living room TV was. And once I started using earplugs, I cannot go back. I cannot, cannot go back to not using earplugs. All right, that uh, that covers it. We we now have science. We now have the science, the tech cards, the red tech cards are moving in a real main bus build. So, now that it has been about 34, 35 minutes, what did we get done today over the course of this period of time? Well, I spent a little bit of time looking at steel uh, as what that's used for. Uh, I got all of this logistics onto the bus, the area for the main bus, the, the wood, sand, 
stone, stone bricks, and glass. Those are all here now. And I have now built my science on my main bus, which is part of the entire point of my main bus, is to build out the science here. What are the next steps? Assuming I am not in great need of power, I do need to have a little bit more power, so I will need to uh, get a few steel, uh, not steel, a few steam engines. Uh, the next step is to set up green circuits and get into green science and, you know, set up my science labs and all that. So we're going to, in the next episode, set up science labs as well as get into the green science, which I can actually start handcrafting now, just by the way, because again, it is just, it is iron and circuits and copper. It's, it's iron, wood, and copper, it looks like. Just iron, wood, copper. That's it. Wonderful. Wonderful. Don't need to think about steel as an expense for science at this point. Maybe later. I don't know. All I've seen are buildings that it's used for at this point. And then we can think about actually setting up steel. And, well, it's we'll have rails. Like, we'll get into green science and that's going to be rails and we can think about our rails our rail build yay our beautiful wonderful train network oh boy usually i terminate my main bus when i get into rails so that's going to be fun thinking about that it's like oh i built out what this whole main bus thing is going to be like and it's not going to be much if I only have to get to that green science there before transitioning into a uh, rail base, gri uh, grid base thing. Anyway, with that, I would like to thank you all for watching. Uh, this has been a talk to show, but if you've been enjoying the series thus far, please be sure to do all of the social and engagement stuff below the video. You can, of course, support me by Follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash otakushowboat, as well as on Patreon at patreon.com slash otakushowboat, if you are willing and able. I will, of course, see you all on the next one, where we will, where we will set up green science. I will see you all then. Mm -hmm.